It's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Today's journal with me will be about the week of Planner Con. Wow, that was such a long time ago, but this is my favorite Planner Con spread that I've done, and I have gone for three years in a row now. And I literally just brought out all of my old planners to compare the spreads, and yeah, this one is the most colorful, and it is everything. So I picked up this Amodi themed kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. and it is a mini size, but then I also got some full boxes from Frank Hearts You and Willa Walla Co. in the PlannerCon swag bag, which have illustrations that are San Francisco themed and they match the Amodi mini kit, so I thought that it was perfect to sort of mix and match the full boxes. The Emoti kit had a lot of stationery and planner related illustrations, so it was very fitting to the theme of this week. I'm also pulling in some skinny rainbow washi from Simply Gilded, and the bottom one is a San Francisco themed one from Wonton and a Million. The mini kit did come with bottom washi, but I decided to use it in my monthly spread instead, so I utilized some washi from my stash, and I really like how it looks. Next, I pick out some glitter headers and I settle on three colors from Mandy Dreams. I think these were part of a spring collection last year. And instead of alternating them on top of the full boxes, I'm going to just put one color all the way across in a row, which I think is my first time doing this, but I've seen plenty of videos from Rochelle of Planned Princess and she does it this way. And I wanted it to flow in rainbow order from top to bottom. So while I laid on the headers and then the full boxes, I'll just briefly talk about my PlannerCon experience. Like I said, this is my third year going and each year it does get better organization wise, but for the most part, the workshops kind of stay the same. Like maybe there are different teachers, but the themes are the same and I get it. It's really hard to make, I don't know, think of a planner workshop that doesn't involve lettering or what else was there? Like bullet journaling for beginners. There was a stamping workshop, an Erin Condren one, a Philofax. Uh, I don't even know what they talked about in that one. But anyways, yeah, it was similar to the previous years, but I didn't really mind. It is basically like 15 minutes from where I live, so it's very easy to get to. And like for the price, it's a pretty good deal. It is kind of like two and a half days long because there's an event Friday night and then Saturday you have keynote speakers and then the workshops and also on Sunday and then there are also two rooms of shopping goodness so that was pretty exciting too and although the price of the ticket increases a little bit each year my friends and I we always buy one pre-sale because it's just so close and convenient if it were across country would I go to it once yes would I go to it three times Probably not. This year, a lot of planner friends traveled from all over the country and some international ones too. So I was quite excited to meet everyone and that was the highlight of my whole weekend was just hanging out with everyone that I could. All right, so I'm almost finished putting down all of the base stickers. I am going to have some leftover full boxes because there's no way that I can use 
a full 16 <laughs> full boxes from both sets, so there'll be leftovers and I'll use them another time. After putting down the adorable weekend banner with the emoji faces, I start Monday off with a green juice sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark drinking some juice from Pressed Juicery. And then I worked on orders, so I used some confetti washi from Simply Gilded as a background for this print and cut sticker that I made for myself. And then underneath, I used a character from Happy Daya, and I wrote that I packed orders, and I used a little silver foiled check mark from The Giving Girl. I love that double box of the Golden Gate Bridge with the rainbow hanging over it, and I wish it looked like that, but realistically, it's foggy most of the time, so it's not that magical in person unless you are very lucky and you get a sunny day, but those are very unpredictable. <laughs> At PlannerCon, I got to meet Lena of Peach Palm, and she was giving out these rainbow butterfly page flags that are silver foiled, so I got to use one on Monday, and I have used a run sticker from Mandy Dreams next to it. I also felt super sore from skiing the weekend before, so I had to use the foam roller at the gym and I used another silver check mark from The Giving Girl. I'm using the bow washi from Simply Gilded and I'm just putting it on top. I wanted to use a very specific section of the rainbow, so I rolled it out and then cut it with my Fisker's knife. One of the half boxes from the kit came with an emoji printed on it already, so I just used it to mark printing and cutting. But then there was a very small sliver of space that I didn't think I could fit anything in it, so I decided to move the half box down and put a to-do header on top. My friend stopped by after he got off work, and we just talked about life, so I marked that with a scalloped bow label from The Giving Girl, and... Then we watched some TV, so I pulled this TV Time sticker from a shop that I'm not even sure is open anymore. It's called Sugar Bear Paper or something like that. And then I marked going to the gym. Wednesday was my get out of the apartment, go do errands day. I started with a today header and then underneath I used one of the really thin labels and a coffee sticker from Moomi Stickers to mark getting Starbucks. And then I use one of the three, they're not hearts, three flower checklists with the Modi printed on top to mark the places that I stopped by. I was out looking for little gifts to give to people because I already know that <laughs> the planner community is very, very generous and people give swaps and things. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't empty handed. And then I searched around Target for gifts too, so I marked that with one of the thin labels and this adorable bunny sticker from Malkaroons and Co. And I just used it because it was cute and purple. I used a piece of the Simply Gilded Rainbow Washi again to use as a background for my run sticker from Mandy Dreams. And then I used another page flag from Peach Palm and I put a Sadness Maru next to it because I was feeling a lot that night. Thursday was kind of a busy day. It was my last day to prep for all the swaps I was making. So I put a to-do header on top with this cute little um, emoji checklist and I wrote the things I had to do. I did draw some new stickers for the sampler that I was handing out and then also I foiled some little quote cards and I'm terrible at foiling. <laughs> so uh, I had a little bit of trouble with that but eventually I got it done. I decorated the list with a little heart speech bubble from Kitty Mint Co. And then I had to get gas for my car because it was low and I knew that I would be driving around a little bit on Friday to go meet up with Jennifer. So I used a gas sticker from Meowcreens and Co. But that was from her old shop so I don't think it's available anymore. And then I stopped by Michael's because I wanted to personalize some of the swaps and I made some name vinyls and so I wrote that on one of the thin labels and I decorated with a Maru star sticker. Next I put down one of the icons that came with the kit and it has a little book on it although I'm pretty sure I didn't read that night. I just wanted to mark relaxing for the rest of the night after finishing the swaps. But just like Wednesday I ended up being deep in feelings so I used a half box and this munchkin in a paper bag and I left it blank so that I could write in it off camera. 
Now on to Friday. It was a very, very exciting morning because I was going to meet Jennifer, aka the Given Girl, for the first time. And we've talked before, but we've never like FaceTimed or anything. But uh, anyways, I was kind of nervous, but we hit it off, I think, just marvelously. I think it's just like totally bananas and I can't believe how lucky I am to have met people from this community in person and we still hit it off and they still get my weird personality. It's like, I don't get it. How is that possible? But it is and it's also very sad because everyone lives so far away from me now. But anyways, I do really miss Jennifer. I will be seeing her in Austin soon, so that will be fun and very exciting. So on Friday, I picked her up from where she was staying and then we went to get brunch and I put that in a half box with a Modi holding the shooting star. And of course, I had to decorate with a giving girl silver bow. I also used this avocado toast sticker that I drew for Happy Daya's anniversary bundle and I will be releasing that in my shop soon. After eating, we went to Japantown and we met up with Cynthia, Irene, who else was there? Andrea, Marg, and Jack. And then we got to eat my favorite ramen there. It's a place called Momofuku. And then we also got dessert at this matcha soft serve place. So delicious. It was a super packed day. I could not fit everything on this column, but that is okay. I wrote some of the highlights on this three flower checklist. And then after that, we went to Lombard Street to take some quick photos before shopping in the downtown area. As you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out what I want to use for this small space. I ended up using a piece of washi from Simply Gilded and then this Lombard Street sticker from Wonton and a Million. I didn't end up going to the nighttime planner con event. It was like called Planner Prom. I wasn't very interested in that, so I'm glad that I just skipped over it. And then Saturday was a full day. Like literally, I think it, doors open at like 8, 8 a.m. And then it was going to go on until the latest midnight. So yeah, very, very long event. You got to have a lot of energy for that. I skipped a lot of the morning because one, I am not a morning person and two, there was no way I was going to sit and stay awake for that long. I thought that the full box with the two emojis was perfect for day one since the main room had a bunch of circular tables. That's basically what we looked like. And then underneath I put a half box and I did some lettering followed by one of the emoji checklists to write down the speakers that I listened to that day. To jazz up the half box, I pulled out my Van Sticky sticker saver book and I found this Sleepy Petty Patty, I believe that's the character's name, from Sparkly Paper Co. One thing kind of strange about PlannerCon is that the schedule is so packed that there isn't like a set time for people to go out for lunch. So we just all kind of gathered and skipped something, I guess, and we went to get Boiling Point, which is hot pot, and then got some boba. So I used this boba treat sticker from my shop and a giving girl check mark to write that we went to Teaspoon. The rest of the night was pretty chill. We could either shop. Um, I think the event was like a planner pajama party. So we just hung out and played with planners and stickers and talked with friends. At the very end, Jennifer and I were picked up by Brian and we took her to a bar. <laughs> so the night was still young and we got some drinks. We took her to Twin Peaks, but it was too foggy to see the city, <laughs> of course. And then we also got some late night donuts from my favorite donut place called Bob's Donuts and they're open like 24 seven. So they're always fresh and tasty. And so I marked that with some washi and a beer sticker from my shop. And yeah, that was a packed Saturday. And then on the Sunday was day two for Planner Con. 
I used another half box and I did the same thing that I did on Saturday. This time I decorated it with these three cute munchkins from Once More With Love that are like peeking over the edge of the half box. And then Sunday, I think I had workshops that I signed up for, but instead I went shopping since I didn't do too much on Saturday. And let's see, what are my favorite shops there? Every Day Explorers has really cute stamps if you're into that. Samantha May Sticks was there selling foiled stickers and albums, I think. Who else was there? Oh, Planning World had some foiled kits. It was really nice to meet the shop owners. Frank Hearts U was there. Willow Walla Co. was vending. Ink by Jang. I'd say a pretty good variety of stores were vending, although I wish that Hobonichi was there because I know that people would have gone bananas buying the Hobonichi weeks. So sadly, they weren't there, but hopefully next year. So I put down the Planner Friends Make the Best Friend sticker from Once More With Love. And then towards the end of the event, um, a bunch of planner people were at the hotel bar just chilling and chatting. And then underneath that, I used a half box to write that we went to a show, but it was a very special show because it was my best friend and her bandmates. And I'm like, so proud of them to have like a show in the city, even though it's a small one it is an, a huge accomplishment. So yay. If you are into indie rock, then I will leave a link to their SoundCloud below. All right. So that is it for this spread. If you made it to the very end, then comment down below your favorite donut. Mine are old fashioned glazed. They're like a little bit crunchy on the outside, but then soft on the inside. And they're so so good. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!